Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community driven trading education. Hey guys, it's James with Chart Guys. It is Thursday, May 18th. Going to do my nightly video on gold. Um, so after regaining this 20 MA, I have a TCG bull cross on the daily where the 4 EMA green line uh, is above the, the 8 EMA red line. Got it back above the 20 MA. We're back testing it currently, and that current level right now is at uh, 1247. So ideally, we want to close at by uh, at 1247 or above uh, by the close in two minutes here. Uh, and if we do break the 20 EMA, what you what you want to do do is as long as it's above the the 8 EMA here, and we still have a TCG bull cross. Ideally, want to stay above the four and the eight. Uh, you can look at the hourly here. And clearly, gold hourly right now is has a TCG bear cross, and it's rejecting out this 8 EMA on the hourly. So um, you want to be patient and wait for it to to gain the 4 EMA. It actually hasn't even closed above the 4 EMA uh, all day today, as you can see from this morning, continuing to uh, get above it, rejecting out the 8 EMA, and getting closes below the 4 EMA. So really, you want to wait for at least a 4 EMA close uh, above on the hourly, and ideally it would be that. To, to wait and be patient for an ADMA close on the hourly. Um, and you, you look at the five minute here. You just draw, you can draw a trend line if you'd like to watch. So we could draw, whoops, downtrend line, that, uh, and just wait for, for that to break the trend line. Uh, five minute to give you a, give you a, give you a uh, direction. Obviously we'd only have one minute left until the close and this could easily break overnight and still come back down so we'll see how that looks tomorrow and the miners still continue to chart them separately for myself just because i know that it doesn't always move perfectly with gold and if you look at the uh hourly here as well we did close let me see the daily close i'm pretty sure we kept that 8 ema so as long as the miners are above this 8 ema and we maintain this tcg bull cross again where the forward EMA is above the 8 EMA. Uh, you can continue to look bullish here for swings. Uh, again, red flag, once we lose that 8 EMA, then you'll want to start looking the other way and look at the bear miners. But hourly here, what you want to do is be patient. Same thing as gold. It's, it, it needs to regain that 8 EMA and get a TCG bull cross. So as long as it's above the daily uh, 8 EMA on the daily and has a TCG bull cross and maintains that TCG bull cross on the daily, you can enter on this, on this TCG bull cross on the hourly when miners regains that 8 EMA there on GDX. Same thing with GDXJ, waiting for the same thing. Wait for it to regain that 8 EMA. You can see that it's, it's been clear resistance all day. Um, and for uh, GDXJ, even the 4 EMA has been resistance all day, not a single close above it. So something to be wary of there. Uh, and if you want to look at another time frame, we can, you can look at the four hour and what you can wait for if you want to be more patient for a four hour setup is you need to regain this 20 MA on the four hour. So once we got that TCG bear cross on the four hour and lost that 20 MA, uh, there was definitely some more downside to be had. So um, you can wait to, you can either wait for that hourly TCG bull cross or you can wait for the four hour 20 MA to be regained uh, on these miners plays for GDXJ and GDX, uh, which I use to chart J, JNUG and NUGT since they're the underlying ETF for those three X's. Uh, and the opposite, dust, same thing. Uh, nice bullish move here. Once we have a TCG bull cross and regain that 20 MA, what you want to do is if, if you're playing that, if you are in on that play on the four, on the four hour, based on the four hour, uh, you need to wait for, you need to uh, get confirmation with, by closing above the 80 MA. So be careful with that four hour, getting that TCG bull cross and getting above that 20 MA on the four hour. Uh, you can still continue to swing it based on the four hour chart as long as we get a close above that 8 EMA tomorrow. Same thing with JDST. So, watch those levels. Same thing. You 
you can swing it based on that four hour chart having a tcg bull cross and having a close above the 20 ma but um, just be careful wait for uh make sure that it can get confirmation with a close above that 8 ema tomorrow if it doesn't close above that 8 ema tomorrow and rejects i would um wait and get out and wait for those 8 ema closes on the daily so that's where we are with the, with with gold and the miners i will see you guys tomorrow